the math right now, though. Wasn't there, wasn't there a controversy? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I haven't got, I haven't got to talk to him yet. But um, his team's still looking good. Um, he's got the returning guys. He's got some returning guys from our championship team. Junior year, so he, he should be fine up there. And Coach Hunter, who was responsible for your large, lot of your recruitment, did I ever... And, you know, did you ever waver after he left, or is that never even a thought? Uh, I could have a relationship with all the guys. Uh, I had a relationship with so early, all the guys. Um, so I really, really didn't face it that much. Can you talk about how odd it was to be recruited and commit during this time, and when you didn't get to do the visit to Norma, you didn't get to see as many people face to face as you would have, and, and uh, you know, how sure were you of your decisions, you know, given that you didn't get to do all that stuff? Uh, it was. They made it really easy. I feel like UConn chose me before I chose them, so they made it easy. Going all the zooms was definitely stressful, but with them, it never felt like it was like this is just so normal. Like as we were having a regular conversation, so it made it easy for us. Strong survives, stands out on your arm there. What's that stand for? I mean, I've been told since I was young, only the strong survive. That's what my family been telling me, and so. Got it on my body, so yeah. <laughs> so it's no particular struggle that you went through. It's just been a family mantra. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you talk about what you expect from yourself in the upcoming season? Thank you. Um, you know, I, you've had to overcome some some injuries, right? So, so where are you physically, and what do you expect your role to be? I'm at 100 percent right now. So um, my role to be uh, score, defense, two way player, uh, playmate. Uh, just do whatever I can to make this team win. And what has Dan told you about what he expects from you as a freshman? Does he, does he want you just to, to learn from the older guys? Does he want you to be a leader right away? How does he... he threw me in a fire right away. Um, so he threw me in a fire right away since day one. Uh, he wants me to be that. He wants me to be a, a key contributor on the team. So um, I've been I've been learning. I've been learning, taking everything in, soaking everything in, asking questions. Do you like so, that being thrown right in the fire instead of being trying to be eased in? I mean, yeah, of course. Um, it's another adjustment. I mean, I'm good at making adjustments. I had to do the same thing in high school, so it's really no different now. So, uh, hey, I'm Charlotte. Hi, I'm Charlotte. Hi, I'm nice to meet you in person. Yeah. What did that mean for you being thrown in the fire? What did that kind of look like? Uh, it was at first, at first, at first, at first, it was chaos. It was like I don't, I didn't know what was going on. I was, I was confused, but. Uh, after the first week, I think I've been doing, doing fine. Adjusted everything well. Um, used to everything. Yeah. How have you guys handled this whole name, image, likeness thing that's that's just starting up? And have they told you what to what to do? Um, how to handle it? What are you expecting from it? As of right now, I haven't uh, I haven't been looking into it like that. I really don't know much about it. Uh, so, yeah. so has Coach Hurley been calm, cool, and collected so far from you guys? Uh, <laughs> That's enough. I was. He said, I, "This is summer early right now. It's not calm, but this is summer early. So I guess it's calm for him." Yeah. Are, are you rooming with Sewell? Or yeah, it's me, Sewell, and Samson. Right you guys, after the first practice, you guys kind of get together and be like, "Holy cow, this is pretty." Uh, we all got here at different times. So okay. Sewell has been here. Got here like a week before me. So they, but like after my first practice and after his, uh, Samson's first practice, I was like. It's the real deal right here. So this will be worked on our whole life. So let's not get discouraged on ourselves for our first day. So what's your impression of the talent level you've seen on the team? I mean, being a new guy. Uh, we got some talented guys on the team. Um, we all got guys that can put the ball in the basket, uh, defend, um, play, make, handle the ball. We got, we got, I think we have a special group this year. I think we could go far. So, yeah. Which, uh, which, which kind of been your, your biggest challenge so far? Uh, biggest challenge, I would say, uh, a biggest challenge would probably be, I don't know, I can't answer that question right now. I mean, oh, so you keep it up the intensity of practice on it? Because it's... Uh, that was, I guess it was at first, uh, probably one of my challenges at first. Um, probably after the first couple of days, I got, got used to it. Uh, everything's faster for sure. So I'd probably say that's my biggest challenge, uh. The game the game's way faster. What's uh, Mike, uh, being in, coming up with those, you know, with, with George, I mean, with uh, Asul and Samson coming in together, the three of you guys? All right, all right. This is a very special group of freshmen we have. Uh, played against Rasul a bunch of times. I knew he was special. Um, 
Samson, special, he's going to be a special player. Uh, I think I have a chance to do something. Uh, so it's, it's been it's been great playing with these guys so far, uh, learning their games. Um, so yeah. Can you describe what it's like to, to walk in there, look up on the wall, it's, you know, you see Ray Allen, you yeah. see all those guys up there, and you see the national I look team. at there, I look up there every day, uh, saying to myself and be one of those guys, uh, one of those guys on that wall. Um, so I I keep that as an extra motivation for myself. Uh, so. Yeah. Sewell says he's coming in and he's used his voice a little bit. Um, as a freshman, have you used yours at all, or is it kind of more eyes open, ears open, mouth shut kind I of I would say yeah, Rasul's an outgoing guy. Yeah. Um, I, my, I, just, I was just taking everything in, asking questions when I, when I don't understand or or when I learn, want to learn more about it. So, yeah. How, how, it, how much does it help to have two other guys in the same boat as you? First time here, uh, uh, figure things yeah. out, and, you know, and then you guys lean on each other. Uh, it's definitely good because we can talk about, talk about, we have our similar problems, similar struggles. So it's definitely good to have these two other guys I can talk to uh, when, when, when they're having, when, I have, when I'm having, not having the best day or they're not having the best day, talk to each other. Um, so, yeah. Who's kind of helped you out at, you know, in talking to you as far as the players that are here already, trying to help you get through things? Is there any couple of uh, players? I, I think all the, all the upperclassmen, all the tournament players that have been here, they've been a good. Uh, they've been helping me a lot, helping me a lot with everything, uh, understanding everything, um, understanding the offense, just understanding the way UConn plays. They've all been a big help. I appreciate all. Of them.